Alex Schindler's advice to me when I assumed the presidency was change everything. Eric's leadership has been stellar, dynamic. He has been a forceful, courageous spokesman uh, for Reform Judaism. And I know that under his uh, leadership, uh, this uh, union of uh, Reform congregations uh, will have that uh, kind of future uh, we all of us dream to have. Its future will be every bit as glorious as was its past. I was born in Albany, New York, but uh, when I was two years old, my family moved to Worcester, Massachusetts. Worcester was a community of 10,000 uh, Jews, and it was involved, active community. It's a community that produced many, many rabbis. Some 20 or so rabbis came from my reform uh, synagogue. I was very active in, in our youth group, and it was an extraordinary experience that helped uh, shape uh, who I am. Eric and I have known each other since we were at rabbinic school together. I admired him then. It was clear in school that he was brilliant. Not surprising, he was elected as, uh, very quickly as president of the uh, student body. Can you imagine the lot of the professors at HUC in New York having to deal with Saperstein, Yaffe, and Thal all at the same time. So this, this idea that one would learn Hebrew and study text as, as, as an inspiration, as, as a joy, as a great adventure, that was something that was new to me, but it literally changed my life. Because Torah study is the motor which drives Jewish life, and whenever communities neglect it, they have started on the road to decline. You have to be prepared, almost like a Talmudic argument, to negotiate and argue and be very strong on your ideas and your principles because Eric will see right through them. He is an Ohev Torah. He is a lover of scholarship and of Torah in its broadest sense. I remember his first speech at the first biennial when he challenged the URJ to double the size of our camping system. And to Eric's legacy, not only did we double the size of our camping system, but we also made substantial capital improvements to our existing camps so that they well serve um, our youth going forward. Eric Yaffe's influence extends well beyond the contributions he's made to the reform movement. He's been a major factor in changing the Jewish world. Our North Star in kind of illuminating the path, illuminating what Torah tells us. It's been Eric. He changed the way many of us viewed the Sabbath. That's what I think. In many ways, Eric Yaffe played the role of moral watchdog, identifying any source of injustice and rallying the universe of participants in URJ to respond. Rabbi Yaffe has been a stalwart friend of the gay and lesbian, bisexual, transgender community. There has been no one who has spoken out consistently on behalf of Israel in a significant and a constructive way than Rabbi Yaffe. When actions are taken by the state of Israel that undermine the legitimacy of reform in conservative Judaism, whether here or abroad, thoughtful and emphatic criticism is not only appropriate, it's absolutely necessary. I think that Rabbi Yaffe was one of the great leaders of contemporary Jewish life. First Archa, right, first Archa. Uh, and then the Commission on Social Action, and then the, the Presidency of the Union. That's a hell of a ride, that's a hell of a climb. And he has carried all of those duties, and all of those obligations with great distinction. So I got to see firsthand, not just Eric's oratorical skill, but his fearlessness in speaking honestly and frankly to whatever audience invited him to speak to them. It was his taking on of the growing, grim, anti-Muslim sentiment after 9-11. He asked us as Jews to imagine what it would be if our civil liberties were in danger, if we had been tainted by the crimes of a few in our community. And he asked us not only to imagine that, he also asked us to take action, to engage in dialogue. And no one gets to heaven by creating hell on earth we can agree on nothing else, let us agree on this. I'm not surprised that he was the first Jewish leader to reach out to the Muslim world and to the evangelical Christians. Uh, it's part of his 
North Star, which is Tikkun Olam. Someone had to take that initiative, take that risk. That's why I'm here to salute our brother, our friend, our rabbi, a religious scholar, and a religious practitioner, that is Rabbi Yaf. Surely here in America, as Muslim and Jew, we have a unique opportunity to reclaim our common heritage and to find a common path. Moses understood that while the Jews would need an army to defend their land, they would need schools to preserve their values. A mere 10 years ago, we felt confident that anti-Semitism was no longer a significant threat, but we were wrong. When people talk about God and yet ignore justice, it just feels downright wrong to us. We need Israel just as much as Israel needs us. In fact, our camps, youth groups, and Israel trips have created a whole cadre of young people who are open to observing Shabbat as Reformed Jews. You come to hope and to dream, and since hoping and dreaming is a collective activity, at least for Jews, you see this biennial as a means to give voice to this message. Okay. On your marks, get set, go. Of course, I wouldn't trade this job for anything. It was the most extraordinary experience in the world. I was part of other communities that I visited and hopefully helped to enrich, uh, but I do look forward to the opportunity to be part of a community myself now, together with my family, in a way that I have not been able to, uh, to be in the past. Less than a year ago, I spoke to the union board and told them that while I didn't know if I believed in life after death, I did believe in life before death. and that I intended uh, to retire in 2012. So join me now in welcoming the next president of the Union for Reform Judaism, Rabbi Richard Jacobs. I think of all the ways that Eric has lifted this movement, and I just want to say that every day he inspires all of us, and particularly I feel that inspiration. I feel the bar that he has set very high, and I want him to know that we will always honor and deeply respect his leadership. Eric Yaffe is just extraordinary.